Hey guys, uh, I'm Anand, your tech guide from Tech Store, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you the procedure to rip apart the base of the Acer Aspire Swift 3 series of laptops. And it might be a Core i3, Core i5, or any other variant, or even a Core i7 variant. This process will apply. If you want to replace the hard drive, put a new M.2 MVMe SSD, replace the RAM, battery, to the extent you can also replace the motherboard as well as the keyboard of this particular laptop. So let's get started. So if your laptop is something that looks like this on the top, it might be any color. Once you open, you have these two nice nano bezel and webcam facing and the keyboard and touchpad is a metallic finish. This is the way the keyboard looks like. And if the base is something that looks like this, then you can apply this particular procedure. Just a quick review on the laptop. Uh, on the left side, there is a Kensington lock. You have a USB 2.0 port, a memory card reader and uh, you have battery indicator and power indicator. On the front, you don't have anything. On the right side, you have a headphone mic combi. You have a C-type port. You have two USB 3.0 ports and one HDMI port along with a DC jack. First thing first, uh, we need to flip the laptop. You need to have a Torx screwdriver, which looks like this. And uh, you need to start removing all the screws, starting with the hinges. Be very careful, otherwise you might have a stripped screw, which is very bad. Once you've removed all the screws, uh, just take a prior like this and start protruding. The base lid once removed, you have access to the entire laptop. Yeah, this is the battery, the hard drive, the M.2 SSD and the uh, RAM is over here. So let's start removing everything one by one. So you need to remove the battery. You need to have a normal star screwdriver. So if you want to replace the battery, this is the battery that you need to replace. It is a AC17B8K battery that uh, Acer has integrated. For the hard drive, you need to remove these screws. It's connected by the strip connector. Just remove the strip connector and remove the strip. Just below the backlit strip, there is another screw. So four screws in total and you can remove the hard drive. You can just take a 2.5 SATA SSD or HDD and replace uh, the hard drive of this particular laptop. Just need to remove the notch over here. This is the HDD connector. Just use your two thumb fingers and start removing it like this and it comes off basically. This is the hard drive connector. Just take a similar uh, 2.5 SSD or hard drive and uh, remove these one, two, three, four screws and you can replace the hard disk very easily. So this is the place where you have to put your SSD. By default, if your uh, laptop has come with SSD, it will be with a normal SSD. It will not be, be with the NVMe SSD. This is a M.2.2280 basic SSD. You can take a NVMe SSD and you can insert it in this particular slot and it will work absolutely fine. Capacity is up to almost one terabyte. You can upgrade this particular laptop. You need to remove the strip connectors here, it's touchpad connector. Let's take a tweezer and uh, then you need to remove the keyboard connector like this. This is the backlit keyboard connector and uh, you need to remove the Wi-Fi.
and you need to remove the VGA connector also the LED cable strip connector just need to remove it like this we need to remove the display completely so the two hinge screws on the right as well as on the left this will ensure that uh, there is no damage to the LED screen on the base open up the hinges and uh, you can remove the base and the screen now once you've removed it uh, you need to remove the motherboard and the daughter board both of them so that you can access the keyboard directly before which these screws have to be removed if you want to replace the ram directly access the base and remove these few screws and you'll access the ram it's held by this thick ring so just need to remove it So this is where the RAM bay is. You can put two uh, memories, 8 plus 8 or 16 plus 16 dual channel memory gets activated. Uh, if you want to remove the RAM, just need to use your two thumb fingers and uh, pluck out the RAM here. It basically uses a DDR4 low voltage 266 megahertz RAM. You can use Kingston, Corsair, even uh, Crucial or G-Skill RAM and you can just take it and uh, insert it over here like this. You need to remove this strip connector here. This is the speaker connector which you need to remove. Now coming to the fan, you need to remove the fan also. This is the fan connector. So any of you who want to replace the fan, this is the way you do it. This is the Wi-Fi chip over here. Now we need to remove some screws which are uh, on the motherboard. This is one screw over here. There will be these white triangles. You can make a note of that. You need to put screws only where those white triangles are. And your motherboard is out. If you want to replace the motherboard, just take a similar motherboard like this. And uh, this is the part code number. ER5EA. This is the main board of Acer. And uh, you can replace it. You need to remove the daughter board. Now remember that this laptop uh, has had a replacement of keyboard done previously. So you are seeing this entire plate looking like this. But in your case it will not be like that. You need to use a protruder like this. You need to remove the different uh, casings over here and only then this particular plate will be off. Be very careful about the backlit pad because the same backlit pad will be utilized for your new keyboard also. So we need to remove this particular keyboard which is faulty. So once you have removed the keyboard and the plate covering the keyboard which you have to remove it with a lot of uh, pressure you need to start removing these using a nail cutter at your home and you can use this thing to remove these rudders which might otherwise create a problem for you. Now we need to remove the backlit pad and put it on the new keyboard. Just take a tweezer like this and uh, start removing it from the ends. Be very careful because if the backlit pad breaks then it is a very costly affair. of the backlit keypad on the new keyboard now take a transparent tape like this and just a little portion of the tape should be outside
So once the plate has been fitted back, uh, we need to start putting all the components back into their places. We just need to put in the screws now of the motherboard, find the white triangle. Start putting back all the strip connectors back to their position. Let's put the screen back. So this my friends is a video showing you uh, the comprehensive process to rip apart the Acer Aspire Swift 3 SA31552 series of laptop. This was a 2018-19 launch and it had a 8th generation Core i5 processor and 7th generation Core i3. So if your laptop is something like this, then this is the way you can upgrade the entire laptop, clean up the laptop to the extent you can replace the motherboard of your laptop also. We have shown you how to replace a keyboard, M.2, NVMe, SSD, RAM hard drive, battery, CMOS cell, literally everything that you want to know about your Acer Swift 3 laptop. Hope you liked our video guys, do leave some suggestions in the comments and do not forget to subscribe to us and hit the bell icon. Thank you so much.